Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we hope this will be a fun 45 minutes for you. Um, we do things a little differently for these panels, but um, we will let you kick it off. Oh, in that case, I'll ask you a group question so I can get a little something for our, from all of you right now. And also, just to pay respects to the man who started it all, the absolute horror genius in Wes Craven. Yes! Journey to you. Can you give me an example of a time on set when you were having a tough time cracking a scene, but Wes was the actor's director and leader you needed, and he helped you figure out a moment in one of these movies? Wow, go for it, man. You seem to have one. Um, okay. So, final scream sequence of the first film. Um, you know, I think with with that scene, it took us how many how many weeks to shoot that? Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. He's so weird. Um, we took weeks to shoot that final sequence, and so for me with Sydney, keeping the level of fear up um, and also keeping it interesting, you know, was the challenge. And um, Wes came up to me at some point and whispered in my ear, and he said, "Imagine you have like." A and bullets ricocheting through your body right now and walked away. <laughs> that did it. <laughs> that was very, see that. very helpful. <laughs> um, but he's amazing. He was just a genius, an incredible man, a great director, a visionary, um, and a yeah, wonderful human being. We all love him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I don't have anything specifically, but I, I couldn't help but think of him recently as Six came out and stuff, and how you know how he must be looking down, smiling, and so proud of, of what it's become, and the fact that all you sit here is, in some way, a testament to him and his abilities to to tap into something that we're not even really aware of. So uh, uh, I, he was just an incredible man, and, and had a softness about him that you kind of just acquiesced. To what he asked, and uh, he was just brilliant, beautiful person. Matt, you got anything for us? I have something else I can ask you right now. Oh, hopefully. I think there's some people in the room that know how strongly I feel about this. The whole, the whole Stu lives thing. <laughs> I love how Stu lives, but Randy's still in the goddamn coffin. <laughs> Stu, you're alive, but you got hit with a Zenith TV. <laughs> Randy, no, you're dead. So, you, um, he's, you're obviously mistaken. <laughs> uh, he's very much alive, and if you don't believe it, you should leave now. <laughs> um, you guys, here's, here's how we usually do this. Um, so our whole... Matt uh, lost his voice, just to be clear. In yes. case any of you are wondering, this is not how we normally sound. Yes, so. <laughs> it sounds kind of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's what we're gonna oh, do. Boy. Our, whole, our whole thing is that we believe in these moments about sort of explaining who we really are. What happens if we get with an unbelievable moderator like this, we'll just get movie questions and questions about character and the reality is nobody gives a shit about that. <laughs> but we, our job is to tell you about our lives, the ups and downs, and let you ask all the questions and we'll take it and try to, try to show you what a life's about a little rather than just talking about how cool it is. Because it is cool, but we have a lot of ups and downs in life and so we just try it. <laughs> Did he say I look sexy? Because that's all I heard. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. So we'll go around and ask questions and then we'll oh answer. Is that okay? I love you. I love you, Ski! Oh my god. No, I just don't feel like I'm but I can't talk to. I've just been standing all day. I'll hit the middle. I'll hit the middle. What about that panel ever? Stop. Hey, this young man has a question that I think is probably really important. 
may change the world. It's the first question, and this question sucks. You're gonna ruin everything. Are you ready? <laughs> I really believe in this question. I think this it's, question. Does he believe in the question? But you don't know the question is. He's calm. He's ready. This is gonna be horrible. <laughs> Hi. 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 Um. First off, thank you for being here. And second, um. So if they were to, for some reason, make the original and remake the original trilogy, and they're like, okay, you can just write yourself a cameo, whatever you want, what would you write and why? Ooh. Okay. Wow. You see? Matt, Matt, Shame let's on not you, skip Matthew. over that you said it was going to be horrible. Listen, I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so we can write any part over? Is that what you're saying? If you could write any part for yourself just as a cameo, whatever yeah, you want. Easy. I would be Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> she is the queen. It's <laughs> kind of a mic drop answer, my friend. I know you wanted something deep from everybody. Jamie, who would you write? Is it a new character or the person in the movie? It, it can just be anyone, anything you want. Oh, um... In the movie? <laughs> uh... I think that I would probably write the fact that... I live. <laughs> Good talking to you. <laughs> Ski, do you have something? No, no, I'm good. I, I, I'm not going to open that can of worms because I would invent something completely off. No, I was not changing it. Are you changing it? I didn't anything? die, so what am I going to do? Yeah, what? Right. <laughs> what? That was awesome. Wow. What'd she say? What'd she you say? know what she said? Say it again, Dad, slowly. I didn't die, so what am I going to do? <laughs> there was nothing more final than that statement. Final girl says, I'm not dead. Alright, everybody thank Noah for his question. Alright, where are you going? Alright, I'm deep. Alright, who has a question? Matt, do you ever dream anything character wise? Yeah. I think that. Oh, no, I'm trying to answer honestly. I mean, yeah, when you're deep into something, it, 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 it like it's a part of your life, right? Okay, you're a better actor than I. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, this is a hard film because you're like you're deep. Um, hi, do you have a question? Go ahead. So it's for you. Um, Go ahead, take your time. Um, <laughs> Nobody can hear anything. Hello? Okay, I'm going deaf. Go ahead. Okay, so this one's related to you as Shaggy. Um, do you think that Scooby and the gang would have solved the original Woodsboro murder? Oh! Wow. Great question. The uh, gang never fails, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh. He's right there. It's a yeah. creepy dude in the mask. <laughs> Every time. Thank you for the question. All right, here's a question. Go ahead. You brought us a beer yesterday. You can ask as many questions as you want. <laughs> Sometimes I cuss kids and daddy drinks. <laughs> you know, we have a question. So wait, wait, wait. He's been here. Yeah, I think so. Uh, hi, I'm John. Uh, First time cosplaying, so a little nervous, but uh, I'm a big fan of Wes Craven, so I was wondering what each of your favorite Wes Craven movie is. Ooh. Scream. <laughs> I like Serpent in the Rainbow. He did tell good stories about Serpent in the Rainbow. Remember that? He told the story once then. There's a whole voodoo story, the guy said, I don't believe in voodoo. 
and he said it to a voodoo priest. And the voodoo priest said, well, you don't believe in voodoo, but voodoo believes in you. <laughs> and that screenwriter ended up having to leave Haiti because it blew something in his face and he lost his mind. <laughs> True story. Yeah, right here. Where's my man? Okay. Not really a question, but I brought you guys more beer. <laughs> <laughs> guys want to get your question answered. <laughs> Skeet, I believe somebody has a pimple for you. That's so cool. <laughs> I don't have a question, but here's some mushroom. Who's at the microphone? How about over here? You ready? Oh, you yeah. there? Hi, uh, my name is Jenna, and my question is specifically for Nev, but it's also open to everyone else. You are getting up there with your kills, and um, you're starting to rival some of the ghost faces, so I was wondering what your favorite kill stunt was to do. Ooh. Nice. Can I just say this? Amanda's well, bringing it, yeah. Yeah! yeah. yeah. The greatest questions. I I have to remember them. <laughs> My favorite kill stunt? I mean, I know you have Stu in the TV. Yeah, I was going to say probably He's Stu. not dead. <laughs> Sit down. I have to feed my children. What is wrong with you? You're a monster. Something, but probably. <laughs> You on that side? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you on that side right here. No. Go for it. My name is Sasha. Hello, Sasha. <laughs> I just want to ask. So I said, don't worry, these guys are having a beer break. I, <laughs> me and Nev are still on He's the He's so strong, but not that smart. <laughs> you know how to open this Jesus, dude? You're from North Carolina, just cracking on the edge. <laughs> Come on, dog. What are you doing? There, hit that. You ruined the whole show. <laughs> how many killers does right, it take Sasha to open a Corona? A <laughs> I have a wake call ready, but sure. <laughs> Go for it. Two. Wait. I, for the first movie, were there like just like any moments in particular that that you like felt just like a bit like uh, unnerved or like uneasy or like just like generally kind of like like, yeah. like, what's your question? Great question. No. <laughs> uh, it's a great question. It really is just like disturbed. Yeah. There were times during shooting, you mean? No. Times during shooting that we felt disturbed? Yeah. Great question. Yes. So here's the thing. So we're not, so we're never really freaked out about doing the movie because you're in the movie and it's all pretend. Right? That's the great thing about our job. It's just pretend. We're really good at it. So, it's because we pretend harder than most people. But the, the thing I will say is that at the end of that sequence, when we were shooting for like three weeks straight, um, the amount of energy that went into the scene was crazy, right? And so the three of us, Skeet, Nev, and I would sit there in corners at, and you shoot at night. So you go to work at 6 p.m. at night and you get home at 6 or 7 in the morning. So in the middle of the night, you're in a house in the middle of Santa Rosa, nothing around it. And the three of us would be sitting like against the wall with blood all over our hands, blood all over our faces, and we'd be playing with the stickiness. <laughs> because it was before cell phones, so nobody was on their cell phone. And you had to stay in a space of energy. Right, so the thing about doing work like that is you're a really high energy, right? And so what happens is you can't just 
let it go. You sort of have to stay in the space of like being up and you have to be up for three weeks. That spazzing out, spazzing is not the right word. We don't say that anymore. But the, 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 the freaking out in that kitchen sequence, to do that and then go sit down where they rearrange lights, you can't just let it go. So it was a grind, which I think at the end of the day, we're all super proud of the work in that scene. Right? Absolutely. It's a great question, though. I mean, I think, I think nerves are really a part of what we do in a way. I, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I'm, I'm nervous to this day before every take. Yeah. And I just find a way to justify it through the characters on how he would be nervous. Why would they be nervous? What would that, you know, and I just forget about it. But it's a great question that is part of what we deal with. If you sat there thinking, like, Oh my God, in 25 years, millions of people are gonna have seen this movie and you're in the moment trying to act like you never get anything done. I'd be frozen with fear. But we get into what we do and we get into the moments that are between us and stuff like that and you kind of forget about all of this and people are gonna see it and you just get lost in the telling of it. But um, nerves are definitely a part of it for me. Thank you for the question. Um, I'm going over this side. Hi. Do you have a question? What's your question? Do you have to speak into it? <laughs> um, what was your favorite or memorable moment being in the Scream franchise? So, like, any moment being in Yeah, great. Nev? <laughs> Gosh, uh, it's tough. I mean, I made so many of them. I had, I had a lot of incredible experiences um, in these films. But I think, you know, for us, that the first film, what's going on back there? <laughs> Ghostface. Scream, bro! Oh, you know what it is. Ghostface! Hello, Sydney. the middle of the stage. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> Send these I'm just, okay, I'll stand over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the most memorable. Oh, I, no, I was just saying, it's, it's hard, honestly, it's hard to pick, but the, the first film was such an incredible experience. We all had such a blast together, and it really was like being at summer camp, and we became a family, and... Um, and it's so nice to see these guys now so often. We do a lot of these now. Um, and I feel like we're like a little touring company. <laughs> and, and it's really, you know, it says something to how much it meant to us back then that we're all still so close and we care about each other and enjoy being together and, um, and are able to stand in front of this audience and have you appreciate the energy as well. Um, because we appreciate you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's kind of the most important part of what we enjoy about these Q and A's is to take a little moment to, to talk about how thankful for we are for you guys. And I know Matt elaborated a little bit on it, but it really does mean a, a lot to us. It really does help feed our families. It really uh, is impossible to feel anything but gratitude for each and every one of you who have come out uh, to see us. Um, you've spent your hard earned money us and uh, I, I just can't thank you enough for the energy that you give us for the smiles on your faces for all the love and support it really does mean so much to us and our business is perilous and you know we a lot of times don't know what we're up to throughout a year or how much we may or may not make or whether we'll even work sometimes um, so it really does mean the world to us, and, and we're forever grateful for this experience. And to get to meet as many of you as we can at the tables and to thank you personally is what is on our plan. Sometimes we get tired, sometimes it's hard to keep up the energy, but do know that's behind every move we make here, is to thank you guys. Yeah.